everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're back with the Dell XPS 13. I figured I would do a series of follow-up videos, both covering some of your questions and uh, covering a couple of things that I didn't get to in my initial review. What I wanted to do today is talk about two accessories that they sent along with the laptop that I thought uh, were rather interesting and worth talking about. The first is called the Power Companion, and this is it here. Uh, this is a you know like external battery pack, a 12,000 milliamp hour battery pack. Uh, so it does what most of these battery packs do. It charges your USB devices like your phone or tablet and gives you enough charge probably to get like two or three charges into your cell phone and probably a good chunk of your tablet. Uh, but it also charges the laptop. So uh, you can use this if you're in a bind and need a little bit of extra juice. It'll charge pretty much everything you're taking with you, phone, tablet, uh, and the laptop. Now, of course, the battery's limited, so you're not going to get a full charge on the laptop from it, but probably enough to you know, give you another 15 or 20 percent or so, which is pretty handy to have. Uh, it's about $120, so it's a little bit more expensive than some battery packs you might see out there. Uh, and it also needs to be charged with the Dell power adapter. So what you do is plug the Dell power adapter into here, uh, and then you plug this into your laptop. So if it's on the wall power, it'll, of course, draw power uh, from the wall, through the power adapter, through the companion uh, into your Dell. And, of course, if you unplug it, uh, you'll be running the, uh, the battery into here to charge the battery while you're using the computer. So pretty handy, though, to have you know, a single battery that will charge everything uh, in your bag as a nice little safety net when you're uh, out and about and traveling. Now, the second device you sent along is this one. This is the DA100 Universal Dongle. And what this does is it plugs into your uh, USB port on the laptop. It'll give you gigabit Ethernet, a uh, USB 2.0 port, so you don't get uh, the USB 3 speed out of here, but you do get a workable USB port. You also get HDMI and VGA. And this runs with Display Link technology. I'm going to put a link below to a video I did just a couple of weeks ago about another device running the very same technology over USB called Display Link. And you can kind of see some of the video speed you'll get out of this. Not as fast as uh, the Display Port adapter is going to be on the laptops, which is right over here, the Mini Display Port. So if you're going to be doing things like gaming or high def movie watching or something, and you want the best possible uh, speed and image quality, you're really better off, of course, getting uh, that Display Port adapter in there. But if you're looking for something kind of all in one unit where you can get the Ethernet, the video, and everything else, this might be something worth looking at, but you will see a performance hit. It'll also probably uh, hit the battery a little bit harder as well when you're not plugged in because it does rely on the processor uh, to push all of that video over uh, to the device. I'm going to plug it in real quick and just show you uh, how it works with some basic web browsing. So here's the output of the universal dongle. You'll see as I move the window around, it's not the fastest thing in the world. It's certainly not as fast as the uh, native video hardware will be on this. Uh, you might see some text distortion here as I'm moving around with some different things. That is actually the fault of my video system, not uh, the fault of the dongle here. Just uh, so keep that in mind as we're playing around here. But uh, certainly decent for web browsing and other things. But uh, things like gaming and more high intensity applications that have a lot of motion and whatnot, uh, you'll probably want to rely on the display port adapter again uh, on the device versus uh, the uh, universal dongle. It is also a little bit pricey as well. You might be able to piece together some of these things separately that also run over USB for less. But it is convenient, of course, to have uh, everything all in one package. So uh, those are two accessories that they sent along that I thought were kind of unique and interesting. And uh, I want to get more of your questions answered. So if you do have questions about uh, anything you've seen with the XPS 13, both in this video and my previous video, uh, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll take a bunch of those questions and uh, do a couple of follow-up videos over the next couple of days. This is Lon Seipin. Thanks for watching.